I spoke to U.S. Senator John McCain. I asked him how damaging the film has been to U.S. relations in the Middle East. Thousands and thousands of things are on the Internet and pictures on Facebook. And uh, look, you'd have to try to impose some kind of censorship in America that, and in the world, which would be absolutely impossible. Uh, we try to uh, have people show restraint, show good sense and, and taste and not insult others' uh, religion. But I also think you can make an argument that just because somewhere some obscure person insults uh, Muhammad or the Muslim faith, that that's an excuse to go out and kill Americans, I, I think is, is just ludicrous. In fact, it's an insult to our intelligence. It is extremists who are playing on the emotions of average citizens who are deeply religious for their own political gain. And that's what this is really all about. We should go after those people who are inciting the violence. What are your thoughts on the reaction uh, to the violence from the new Egyptian president, Mohamed Morsi? There are some who say he was strong to criticize mm -hmm. the film and the filmmakers, but not as strong to criticize uh, the actions of those who attempted to breach uh, the embassy walls in Cairo. Well, he did condemn those demonstrations. Uh, I think the key to this will be whether the Egyptian government, and they have plenty of soldiers, uh, protect our embassy and those personnel that work there. That's the key to whether uh, the, the path and direction that uh, United States and Egyptian relations will go. And I am keenly aware, and I believe many of our decision makers are, the importance of Egypt in the entire Middle East, uh, the cultural historical center of the Arab world. It is not in the United States or Egyptian interest to see some kind of break, uh, breaking of our relations and any and animosity. But I can tell you that there are a lot of unhappy Americans today. Yeah. Uh, just a couple more very quickly, Senator McCain. Maybe you can help me understand uh, some of the criticism that uh, Governor Romney has received over his initial response and mm -hmm. then later responses to what happened on Tuesday uh, in Cairo and then later in Benghazi. He has been heavily criticized in some quarters. Uh, can you help me understand why that is the case? Well, one reason is, is because we're nearing the final stages of a presidential campaign. When, when Governor Romney issued the statement he did, uh, it's my understanding that uh, the uh, attack had not taken place in Benghazi. It was a weak statement by our embassy, which represents the United States, which was later withdrawn and changed. And then the back and forth is something I'm not very clear on. I was too frankly stricken by the tragedy that befell our four American citizens, including Chris Stevens and Sean Smith. So uh, uh, I think that Mitt Romney is saying what I believe, and that is the United States is weak. They are withdrawing. The President of the United States has not spoken up for 20,000 Syrians who have been massacred and the slaughter that continues to take place. Iraq is, is disintegrating. Uh, in, a, in Afghanistan, all we do is announce that we are pulling out. And I know, because I visit the region, that the leaders in the region believe that America is weak and withdrawing, and they are having to accommodate to that new situation. So I wonder, finally, is this the moment for a real foreign policy discussion in this election cycle in the United States? And, and do you expect that if that conversation takes place, that it might be a substantive one? Well, I think it's very important to do so. One of the debates, I believe the first one, I think is October 3rd, uh, the theme is supposed to be foreign policy. I'd like to see and have recommended that Mitt Romney gave a, give a broad uh, foreign policy speech, including taking in uh, what's going on in the Asia Pacific as well <laughs> as the Middle East and uh, I hope that he will do that and I think that that debate needs to be had. You and I understand Americans are war weary, focuses on, on economy and jobs, but uh, we just learned in the last couple of days that what happens in the Middle East is still vital to American national security interests and you and I haven't even talked about the Israeli-Iranian 
uh, nuclear weapon issue.